What's up subscribers? Welcome to Musty Eddie's Tactical HQ. Well today's video is going specifically out to you guys. Uh, last night at the 500 subscriber mark and uh, decided it's time to do a giveaway. I'm going to tell you guys right now that I am absolutely just amazed that I'm at 500 subscribers. I'm, I'm actually belittled by the whole thing. I started this project out, you know, <clears throat> thinking it'd be just more of a fun project for me. I get a few subscribers here and there, but that it, I didn't imagine in my wildest dreams that it would get this big. And 500 isn't even that big, but it's just, it, it blows my mind that I'm at 500. Um, I just wanted you guys to know how much I appreciate it. Uh, you guys, you know, you guys motivate me. You let a fire into my butt. You know, it may sound like words, but I really do mean it. I would have probably fizzled out, you know, months ago if it wasn't for you guys and uh, the time you spend watching my videos and commenting. And you guys, uh, we're just, the conversations I've been having are just awesome. I've, I've met some great people on here. Uh, you guys have taught me things. I'm sure I've taught you guys a few things. Um, I'm on here daily and uh, answering questions and uh, just had some great conversations. I'm, I keep telling people I'm absolutely amazed of the amount of genuine, genuinely nice people uh, I've met on YouTube uh, and they, from the gun community that they go out of their way to do something for you without asking anything in return. Uh, I think we all pretty much live by the pay it forward slogan that you do something nice for somebody and you hope they'll they'll you know pay it forward to somebody else down the road. So uh, I just want to say thank you. You know I was like I said I've been planning to do a giveaway at 500 for a while now. And just did a lot of thinking. Couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. I was thinking about doing like a cleaning kit for a, a gun, but I realized that was too specific to gun owners. I have a lot of subscribers that you know are into, are into airsoft or hiking, camping, um, knives only, or even people that don't even own guns that just like to watch and learn. Um, so I, you know, I scratched my head for a while and came up with uh, something I thought I think is pretty cool and a little different than the average you know uh, knife giveaway that I see on YouTube. All right, so what I decided to go with was a, a Nalgene container. Now, this isn't your typical Nalgene container. It is a Myth Aid kit, not a first aid kit, a Myth Aid kit. Uh, I did some thinking of some uh, stuff that a person might need in the event of an emergency. I uh, went out and bought, uh, you know, those things and crammed them into this Nalgene bottle. Uh, now, it's a 32-ounce uh, container. I'm thinking there's probably a little bit more here and there, but you have ounces on this side, uh, milliliters on this side. On the opposite side of the Myth Aid sticker, I cut out my <coughs> YouTube address. Now I'm going to warn you guys, uh, I think this sticker will probably last quite a while, but this one, if you're not careful when you clean it, I can see you scratching off the letters, and if you do, don't sweat it. Um, but uh, this is intended to go like in your car, if you go on a trip, or just something you could throw in your back seat, and you don't have to ever really think about it, but if you do get in a car accident or you get stranded somewhere, you have some tools to help you out. Um, I plan on doing two of these. As you can see, I bought two Nalgene containers. I cut the Myth Aid kit a little smaller for me because I plan to drink out of it. Um, I did the Magpul Skull and Crossbones, the AR15.com logo, uh, Smith & Wesson, and Springfield XD. Um, like I said, I was going to do two, but after I bought all these all these things that go inside here, that price tag jumped up really fast, and I just couldn't do two. Um, I'm trying to think of a second place prize. I'm not sure I'm actually going to do that. Um, so... There's the Myth Aid kit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and break this thing apart and show you exactly what uh, you're going to get in the uh, Nalgene container. So give me one second. Alright guys, so here's everything you're going to be getting in your Myth Aid bottle. I'm actually keeping my fingers crossed on that one because I'm having to film this video in reverse. Um, I wanted to show you guys everything in its packaging so you know it was new and then break it down and try to fit it in the Myth Aid bottle. Um, I won't know to the end, but obviously you guys have already found out if this is going to work or not. And the way I'm going to do it is, if I can't fit it in the Myth Aid bottle, I'm just going to fit what I can in here, send you the extras, and you guys can customize this to your to your specific needs. So guys, I will admit that this stuff individually is pretty cheap. Um, I had to make a choice of either getting one expensive item or several inexpensive items. And as you can see, I went with the several inexpensive items. Uh, I, this, you know, I went through several ideas in my head of what I wanted to give away. And I really did think that this was a good, solid idea to give you guys to say thank you for subscribing. Um, it's something that anyone can use, from you know gun owners to non-gun owners to hikers, or just to anyone who just you know goes on trips and they want something just in case something bad happens. So, like I said, it's all pretty cheap, but it did add up to a pretty hefty uh, price tag. I will confess, I did go to Walmart because I wanted to save money, and the total here came to fifty-nine dollars and twenty-six cents. Um, now that's purely for what you see on the table. This is no personal shopping uh, by myself. 
So this receipt is for the stuff on the table. I also had to go to Big Five to get the Nalgene bottles because Walmart wasn't carrying them. Uh, and that came to $22 even. So roughly $88. I'm going to run up to $100, guys. Uh, it just sounds better. And, you know, when I actually think about it, when you include shipping and my cost of time, which I'll explain later, don't freak out yet, it probably is closer to $100. So you can see why I didn't do two of these things. That would have been a lot of money on me, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't spend that much money. So what we're going to do here, guys, so we're going to start in the lower left and just move counterclockwise and explain everything. So the first item, we have the rain poncho, so you need to protect yourselves from the elements. Um, they had a cheaper one for $0.88, cents, but I figured... You know, the green was a good solid color. If you guys ever need to make a mock shelter or, you know, uh, a roof of some kind, green would be a good color to blend in with your environment. Plus, I believe the, the this more expensive one would probably last you longer. The cheaper one would probably rip the minute you get it out of the bag. Next, we have the 12-function multi-tool. Um, this could be used for numerous things, guys. It has pliers, um, blades, screwdrivers, can opener, a saw blade, and also comes with a pretty decent carrying case. Next, uh, something I thought we, we had to get as soon as I saw it, it is the, what they call the hobo tool. Uh, it's a uh, fork, knife, spoon, corkscrew, some of the same stuff that you have in the, in the uh, multi-tool, but you got to have that fork in case of emergencies. Now guys, like I said, I'm, I'm mostly intending this, get, uh, this care package to go in your car in case of emergency. So if you ever do get in a car accident, you need some pain relief, we're going to give you some Advil. Um, and believe it or not, guys, this is what I believe is going to be the most important thing to this care package. It's this uh, four-function whistle. Now, you have a compass in case you get lost, which is actually a pretty big deal when it comes to finding your way home um, if you're really stranded. Uh, it also has a thermometer on the back and a magnifier, but the whistle, guys, is what I think is the most important. You know, if you get stranded somewhere and... You know, you see somebody that you, they can't hear your voice, I, I'm pretty sure they'd hear that whistle. So a whistle is just a good, a good thing to have if you need to get noticed. Another thing, if you get stranded for a long period of time, we're going to give you uh, water purification tablets. Now, I hear these things make your water taste like absolute garbage, but you know it's purified and safe to drink. Next, we're going to be giving you a magnesium fire starter, because uh, as everyone knows, fire is one of the most important things to have if you're stranded for... A long period of time because it keeps you warm, cooks your food, signals people, etc. Uh, next, we're going to give you an all-around uh, itch relief. It's for poison ivy specifically, but it has poison ivy, poison oak, and insect bites. So, just an all-around itch reliever. We're going to give you two uh, black carabiners, uh, two lighters in case you don't want to use the uh, magnesium fire starter, but I would uh, use this first and keep this in case of dire emergencies. Just a cheap uh, serrated pocket knife, uh, lock back, stainless steel blade. I'm guessing that's roughly three inches, the blade itself. Now guys, I have no idea if this is going to fit, but I thought it would be cool, so I'll include it regardless. It's a uh, luminescent glow stick, uh, yellow and blue. You just break them, you bend them, and then they glow, so it would be good to signal somebody if you had to. I'm going to give you roughly 20 feet in paracord. Uh, these things have numerous uses, guys, as I hope you know. Um, you know, if you need to build a shelter, they say you can break this thing down and use these intertwine here to, to fish with. Um, so multiple uses, that's why I always carry mine on me. It's good to have in case of emergencies. Uh, up here is the uh, mini mag light. Now, the funny story about Walmart, guys, is this flashlight alone here was $8.88. But the kit here was $9, so I sucked it up, spent the extra $0.12, cents and got two. Um, like I said, it's nothing fancy. The lumens on the big one is 14 with a runtime of 5 hours, and the little one has um, two lumens with a runtime of 3 hours. So it's not a 60 lumen, 90 lumen flashlight, guys, but it'll get the job done in case of emergencies. It has a little uh, keychain here so you can put it on a zipper or a backpack, um, and comes with batteries included. So like I said, nothing too fancy, just a flashlight in case you need it. Uh, next is the plastic match holder, which is waterproof. Uh, if you guys might uh, have figured out by now, the uh, fire is kind of an important thing here in, in my eyes. You know, you always need it, like I said, for food, to keep you warm, just to signal help. So this is a third option to start a fire. And last but not least is um, a 
couple of my channel stickers with the infill sticker that was left over from the Josh Loan project. Now this is where I was talking about my time, guys, uh, adding up to the cost of the total uh, package here. Uh, these stickers actually take a lot longer than people probably think to, to design, to cut, to peel. So, like I said, everything here is going to add up to right around $100. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing broken down and hope it fits in the Mythaid bottle, and we'll uh, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so after breaking everything apart and trying to fit it in the Mythaid container, uh, we do have some stuff left over that just uh, I didn't have space for. Uh, the two things I couldn't fit in here were the poncho, because it just took up too much space, and also the uh, glow sticks, because uh, they were too tall to fit in the container. Um, I did throw in a chapstick with a low SPF, which will help uh, protect your guys' lips from the sun in case you're stranded. Um, also, you guys are probably wondering why I didn't throw any um, gauze or band-aids in here. Um, I thought that was something that most people have in their home and could easily add to the kit themselves. Um, I wanted to do stuff that you didn't have laying around the house. Alright guys, so let's weigh this thing to see how much uh, I actually fit in here. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way real quick. And then we'll bring in the sharper image scale here. Turn it on. There we go. Get it to pounds. Looks like it is two pounds, six and three quarter ounces. Um, so it looks like you're going to be in quite a bit. I'm surprised how much I actually fit in this little uh, container here. Let's go ahead and bring out the other stuff that we're going to be sending with you so you know what you're going to be getting. Uh, like I said before, guys, I'm still going to ship you the poncho and the glow sticks. Uh, you guys can either take something out to put these in or maybe just strap them to the outside of the container. It's totally up to you. You know, I guess you could even take everything out and just drink out of it, but that would actually kind of break my heart, guys. I did put a lot of thought into uh, building this kit for you. Oh, and I'm also going to be including all the important information that came uh, with the products in the container, uh, such as the uh, glow sticks, how to activate it, the hobo tool, uh, the flashlight manual, uh, the poison ivy uh, itch relief. Uh, this is probably the one you need the most. The water purification tablets, how that's going to work. Uh, the magnesium fire starter. Um, the Advil. Oh, the Advil instructions, and the four-in-one whistle. So if you guys need anything clarified, uh, you'll have the um, the means to do so. Also, guys, I didn't cram in the stickers into the container because they aren't life-saving tools. Uh, those will just be thrown in the box. I'm going to add in a Magpul sticker and a couple of the Bravo Company stickers as well because, as some of you might know, I have a lot of these uh, Bravo Company stickers laying around from a certain care package. Uh, so this time, guys, I'm going to be asking for a video response. Uh, you'll go to this video, you're going to scroll down, you're going to click on the comment box, and as soon as you do so, an option will appear to the next of the box that says Create a Video Response. Uh, you can click on that, you can either choose uh, a video from your list of videos you've already uploaded, or you can upload your video straight from there. Um, I'll have to approve it, and then you guys will be good to go. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be bummed because you don't have video cameras uh, to do a res video response. So I'm thinking about doing a, a uh, third place prize, second place prize for people that don't have video cameras. But I'm kind of afraid to do that. Um, I know how busy people are. I'm very busy. Um, my schedule allows very little time now to do this YouTube stuff. And... Um, I'm afraid some people might get lazy and just send a personal message instead of doing the video response. So I'm not really sure I'm going to do that. I'll keep you guys posted as, uh, as this thing progresses. All right, guys, so here's going to be the requirements. Number one, like I said, it must be a video response that's posted as a reply to this video. Number two, at the beginning of your video, you must say this is a video response for Musty Yeti's Tactical HQ's 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, number three, Unfortunately, no new subscribers, guys. The 501st subscribers subbed on uh, January 20th, 2011. So anyone out there watching who subbed after that date, uh, unfortunately, you can't be entered to uh, win the Myth Aid kit. I'm sorry. i got to be uh, true to my subscribers that have stuck around from the very beginning. Um, I'll be doing another giveaway here soon. So if you guys want to uh, you know, send some of your friends my way, when we get to maybe 700 or 1,000, we'll do even an even, even bigger giveaway. Number four. You guys can do me a little favor and boost my ego by telling me what you like about my channel. I got the idea from Tactical Six String, who uh, had the same requirements. So if you guys uh, have time, he's still doing the giveaway. Uh, go check out his channel, subscribe, and enter to win. Um, but he told me it's been great. He's found that people like stuff that he never imagined they, they, they would like. 
Um, it's a good way for me to see what I'm doing right so I can keep pushing forward here. Number five, while telling me what you like, have your favorite gun, be it real, airsoft, doesn't matter, or your favorite knife in the background. And then when you're done talking about my channel, tell me uh, why you like your, this gun or knife that you're showing. Um, heck, if you don't even have anything to show me, tell me if you could buy any gun or knife, uh, what would it be and why. Alright, number six, uh, this requirement is something I'm not really sure about. Uh, you know I'm giving away tools that have knives, things that start fires, chemicals such as Advil, water purification pills. So I think I'm going to have to do some sort of age requirement. Uh, I just can't afford to have my winner be a 10 year old, me send out the kit, um, then have him take it to school, you know, cut himself, cut somebody else, and then have angry parents wanting to sue me for sending their uh, 10 year old a knife. Um, that's probably the reason why I'm doing a video response guys, so I can see that you are an adult that is capable of handling, handling these objects with the maturity that's needed. Um, so sorry to you guys, if you have any other uh, input on this topic, uh, please let me know. This is something I'm actually struggling with on how to handle this whole, uh, um, you know, sending around dangerous things to, to people. Overall, guys, just have fun with your video responses. You don't have to be serious. Humor is definitely encouraged. All right, guys, this might sound weird, but I'm not going to be putting a deadline date um, on this giveaway contest. I'm not going to lie, guys, when I did my 50 subscriber giveaway, I was really disappointed with the amount of people that entered. Uh, I think I got a total of around 10. I thought I would at least get half of 50 around 25, especially since it uh, all, all it required was a personal message, not a video response. Uh, so the deadline for me is when I hit a certain number of contestants entering to win. I'm hoping to at least get 30. If I can't get 30 out of 500 subscribers, I'm going to be a little depressed. But guys, I'm really looking forward to the seeing, the, uh, seeing your guys' videos. Uh, remember, just have fun with it. Like I said earlier, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. I uh, wouldn't and couldn't do this without you. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, can help me push forward here and hit a uh, thousand subscribers. So uh, that's all I have guys. Uh, look forward to the videos. Uh, keep in touch. We'll talk to you soon.